Hello everyone, welcome on board and happy Midsummer Soltis. I am Drakir Scalebeard, first mate on the ship, and now meet our dear captain of the ship. Uh, Helian, and thank you for that. <laughs> uh, yeah, because it's uh, a special day over there, uh, Drakir asked if he could do the intro. And welcome back to Technomage Return of Eternity. Now, let me just double check for a moment. I do think I updated that, but just to be extra sure. Uh, let's see. Last time that we were on, we were in the tower, near the Tower of Knowledge, where we learned what was actually going on in this game. And basically, <laughs> basically it can be cons uh, compared to, well, fossil fuels and such, because... Yeah, these ancients, which call themselves the Old Ones, who were, who were Technomages in that they used both technology and magic, they basically drained the planet of its magical oil and energetic magma, which was, well, actively keeping the forces of hell out. The underworld, but we know that they mean hell. Yeah, that was more of an accident. They probably didn't realize uh, it kept something inside. Yeah, by the time they did, though, uh, they realized that there was too little of it left to keep them out. So instead, they built uh, a machine to basically perpetually refill or recharge what little energetic magma they had left. Okay. Uh, it has been about a week since we last played due to, well, my new jobs, my more chaotic scheduling. Uh... So yeah, like it's, we I probably won't be able to stream this a second time this week, uh, and probably only on Sunday as well. Saturday is a probably no as well. I'll have to double check, since the hours can't change. But still, it's likely this will be only the one of two streams this week. All right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Maybe also we had. We would have one stream last week, just... Yeah, he let me spread his schedule a little bit. Yeah, I thought I was set for the early schedule, uh, but no, it was the late schedule, so I should have been able to stream, but missed it. Now, let's see. We've done it. The screen generator is working. We'll soon take the last plans by Dragon Messenger to Helmetaros, or Helmetaros, and it will be armed for all eternity. Our, our prototype here in the laboratory conceals the transfloater right uh, up uh, to the roof. Uh, now no one can get up there, and after the strange noises we've heard from above, mercifully nothing can come down. <laughs> okay. Which means that we're going to have to screw with this thing, and I, yeah, I sort of expected that. It hurts if we move into it. Okay. So, what does this all do? Okay, that changes that beam's color that okay that one's failing where it was for a bit that changed this one and these two and the last one changes this one and that one okay this one also changes that one um if I pull this one again. Come on. Hmm. Then those two are both green. That removes them. Okay. We need to figure out how to turn all of them off at the same time. And I think the beams weren't failing. We, they were just partially on out of sight. Which caused them to look like they were. Okay, now if I pull this one again. Okay, and then we pull this one twice. Uh, wait, what? Oh, right, of course, that activates this one as well. Um, hmm... Wait, this one only activates the middle one, or... No, it also activates the back one. 
We just need to figure out how to get it in a place that we can turn them all off at once. Let's see. The upper one, from our perspective, is the only one that activates the upper, the furthest one, I think. Ooh. It also activates that one. If I do... Come on. No one's being very picky with that move, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Or do I need to I'm, make all of them? No. I, I, I know you can be a bit frustrated with the machine, but maybe smashing it with a hammer is not the answer. If I do, come on, come on. there we go, and wait. I thought that one. I thought this one also activated that one, or did I just completely read that wrong for some reason? Hmm. I don't think we need to touch the upper one anymore because that one's off. We just need to. F Figure out how to fiddle around with this one enough. That one needs to be green, and these two need to be blue to turn it off completely. Or... Actually, maybe if I do activate this one... I <laughs> managed to screw this up <clears throat> pretty badly, I'd say. Let's see. If I do that, then press it again. Now, that's, that's still going to activate this one again when I act deactivate the upper one. Hmm. Okay, each one of these is connected to one of these beams, but also this one. And now we're back at the start. Okay, if I do this, that turns the upper one off. Then if we do this, we get back to here. But now if we activate one of these, and then the other, the middle beam is going to get reactivated. Hmm. This puzzle is already annoying. I think the key is going to be this one up here. So if we can get it to the point where this one is off, I think, and these two are blue, we should be able to get it working, I think. So let's try one, two, three, and what? Four. No, then that one is going in the way. Come on, grab my dessert. Guess what I brought with me? You know what then? Oh, we can't hear it. Uh, ice cream! <laughs> Want me some nugger? Now, let's see. That one is in. St Actually, I. 
Mm, no, I don't think we have it. Yeah, because this is still going to leave one on. Okay, I, guess I get the feeling I'm missing something or I'm completely... Wait. Why is this here? Yeah, I was wondering, could we move the boxes? But wait, is that the answer? I think it might be. Come on, Melvin. There we go. With this, we can block off one of the beams. Or maybe even the big beam. Yeah, I think that I think that's it because these are all <laughs> those are all in lowered areas. We can use this thing to block the big one off, and then just turn off all the other three. <laughs> okay. I feel like I should have told you about that earlier, though. I didn't know these boxes were movable or not. I, I didn't thought this one specifically. Uh, I, I did notice that it was movable, but I didn't think to use it with this. There we go. The <laughs> stupid thing's off. <laughs> and now it's just a case of... Yeah. One, two... There we go. Okay, can we open this? No, we cannot. Okay. Uh, so, you couldn't beat that thing. You, you couldn't even beat that puzzle like that. You, sim you actively had to sabotage it. Then, yeah, it's boss time. <laughs> immediately a level. Let's put that into our health immediately. Oh dear. And there's our enemy. Uh, if I remember correctly, one of the books said that this is one of... This is that corrupted dragon. That, uh... Yeah, cause the downfall of the tower. Uh, oh, I forgot on that again. I think this dragon has seen better days. Yeah, definitely. Nope. Uh, I think I remember doing him some stupid stuff. Because those. Oh, yeah, he, he shields himself like that. I think he starts at one point to just fly around as well. Um, since it's an icy air, actually, let's just that wrong direction, Melvin. Now, there we go. Yeah, oh. d definitely some sort of ice wyvern. Actually, yeah, I think wyvern would be more accurate since it doesn't have forearms. Oh. In this case, yes. <laughs> I don't think that's going to do much. And yeah, here's that frozen dragon we also read off. Or read about. <laughs> Come on. Actually, I, I <laughs> he can't hit us like this. <laughs> he can only hit us with the boulders now. This is stupid. I say that and he flies the boulder into our face. Okay, come near you. Okay, wait for him to drop it. Yep, there's also, of course, that. Bit more, just a few more of his bye byes. Oh, and he's back on the ground. And 
There we go. Well done. I honestly, I honestly didn't think we'd be that close to the boss, which means we should be heading into the second last level of the game. That's one ugly dragon. Look me. Ugly chunky. Oh. I'm cold. What icy hell have I got myself into? And this is Archon. Have you released me? I can't remember what happened. My brother, Yorkan, he froze me in. Deceived. Betrayed. But that must have been an eternity ago. Thank you for freeing me anyway. Who are you? An old one? Where are all the other dragons? How did the war end? Well, we've got a bit of bad news for you. I'm sorry, but I believe all the other dragons are dead. It seems there was a traitor in this war, and they eventually fell victim to his machinations. As for me, I've never seen another dragon, apart from a rather rattling old dragon skeleton, that of Kohawk Ran. Are you Archon, the great dragon prince? And what war do you mean? At present, this beautiful world is overrun by monsters from the underworld, but somehow you seem to know all about it. Melvin, you've been reading the freaking books. You know what war they're talking about. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, yes. Now the memories are falling from before my eyes like dragon scales. Well, now, Melvin, it seems you are not only the Technomage, but one of the last old ones. Tell me of the world, how it is, and what monsters there are that are trying to destroy Gothos. Back then, at least, they apparently had strong allies among your own people. Tell me all you know. Perhaps I can be useful to you. So there were more than one per traitors, perhaps. I shall do that, great Archon. From now on, we will fight for Gothos together. Do you know where Helmotaros, the ancient capital of the Old Ones, is situated? I must find it. You were surely there in those days, weren't you? But before we discuss that, you must fly with me as soon as possible down into the snow world and save my companion, Talus. She is like me, but she'll freeze down there in the ice desert if we don't rescue her soon. Can you still fly? Also, how does he know that Melvin is this techno mage? Or did they even have prophecies back in that time? Good question! Fly? Ice desert? Of yeah. course I can fly. Nothing could be easier. And I know Helma Taros, too. Come on, climb on my back and let's save the love of your life. <laughs> Never put a good deed off until tomorrow. What? And he doesn't protest this time, or doesn't get the chance to. Yeah, okay. Yeah, his face icon and model here looks better than uh, yeah, the other model. <laughs> Chunky 3D. How did you see her through all of that mist? <laughs> yeah, she's not dressed warm. Hi, Talos, we got a pet. That Talos, Talos. <laughs> concerned don't we can see why it's not a capital anymore it may be warm here for a change but it still doesn't look that inviting what are we doing here anyway weren't we heading for Helma Taros I thought as much Archon why have you brought us here if I remember rightly this is the former capital city of old ones that's why I've landed here. Oh, really? 
They had some very inventive builders. A little too Spartan for my liking. Tell us. Gothos has changed almost beyond recognition since I was caught at the top of the tower. The volcano was not as active in those days, and the outskirts of Helma Taro stretched as far as the valleys at the foot of the crater. The old ones used the volcanic part of Helma Taros as their troop headquarters. Really, they act they built the they actively built their capital on top of a volcano. And even into oh. it. Uh. Sure, thermal energy. But that's a little bit too close for comfort. Yeah, I, I guess when they built the Tower of Knowledge, they also took all of the wisdom and survival instinct with them as well. Yeah, uh, we forget. They mentioned Ice Desert. I think I said it before. Ice Desert is a thing, and the biggest desert in the world is not Sahara. The it's biggest one is in uh, Antarctica. Yes. Yeah. I just forgot it's what its name was. But not quite what we're looking for, is it? What do we do now? Should we stay here? Or fly on further. I don't think it would hurt to explore this region. It's said that the Shah also lived near the volcano. Perhaps we'll meet someone who can tell us where to find Helmetaros. I can't imagine that Archon was mistaken. A city can't just disappear from the face of the earth. We'll proceed as follows. I'll explore the island on foot first in the direction of the volcano. If I'm not back by nightfall, you two fly over the island and look for me. Please, Talus, I beseech you to stay here with Archon. Are you both agreed? But I think after all the time she spent freezing, I'm pretty sure she'll be glad with some time to just warm back up. Here. Yes, yes, okay. I'll stay with our big scaly friend here. Although I don't really want to let you go off alone. After my clumsiness at the snow bridge, I'd better give in a little, hadn't I? It wasn't your fault, it was Melvin's chunky ass that weakened it first. <laughs> uh, yeah, now we're at the you know, volcano, which should be oh, hell, the second to last of the, uh, of the levels. And since it's a fire area, let's actually swap over to something that should be a lot more useful here. If I'd had magic. <laughs> uh, yeah, we've got living fireballs to deal with. I don't have any clue what these might be called, though. Or, well, right. we don't know what most of the enemies are called. Uh, let's have a chat. I think I'd better stay here for now and look after Talus. Have uh, you found I out anything interesting? Mm -hmm. I saw something weird with those fireballs. Yeah, they have faces. Uh, not only that, the face looked like Bowser. <laughs> a bit. There's a general uh, geode. Okay. There's a general shape of it, but more rounded. There we go. Uh, let's see, I don't remember... Another geode, okay. Is it going to be of use for something? I remember part of this level, but it's not the outside that I well, remember. So we'll have to see. Because there's going to be one part in this that is going to be annoying, from what I remember. I don't know, geodes. Hmm. Don't tell me I'm going to have to plug up these. No. No, they'd be highlighted if I had to use... If I had to use them for something. I'm not going to... I'm not going to be careless with jumping over lava. Just yet. Oh, the heck. I... Okay, I can see you wanna be live somewhere near for thermal energy, but maybe preferably a bit of a more dormant volcano. Yep. Where you can use the thermal energy without worrying about uh, you go boom boom. Well, 
Archon did say that it was less active in the day. And this lever seems to be rusted shut or broken. Not that Melvin then, has anything to say about it. Then guess the question be... What made it active? Hmm, probably a bunch of monsters digging all, all around under the Earth's crust. <laughs> Uh, possibly for once the volcano is uh, once the volcano is less active, you were at least dead. It's un very unlikely for it to suddenly turn active again, isn't it? I think so, yeah. But a volcano being dead, I believe, just means that uh, it hasn't been active in a very long time, and there isn't much, if any, uh, activity going on underneath it. I'm. I don't know the specifics of it. Yeah, I just hope that the, a dead volcano is probably the best Speaking source of, of thermal energy. What the heck, Hillian? Yeah, it looks like I have to... Actually, I should use the speed boost yeah, boots there. I need to rush over to that platform before it <laughs> takes off. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I get it. it. It's it's warm summer, but I don't think you get cooled down by lava. <laughs> uh, yeah. Speaking of, uh, at this distance, uh, everything here would be choking with toxic gases, <laughs> if it were accurate. Yeah. Activate the stupid thing. Now we need to wait for it to, to for those to reset again. But yeah, magma would be giving off a lot of toxic gases. I've uh, primarily sulfur ones, I think. Sulfur and carbon dioxide. I th uh, I'm not sure. At, at the very least, sulfur. And well, that's very nasty stuff. Yeah, uh, uh, reminds me off. like. If you were to go to hot springs and you say that something smells sulfur, don't yeah, GTFO. go in. Yeah. So we did a movie once, and I think it's sort of true. Who are you? Uh, do you live here? I know you, Magus Dagomar, the power-hungry traitor of Gothos, isn't it? I thought you had been imprisoned in the stasis field forever. What machinations have we to thank for your presence here? And uh, yeah, in one of the easiest <laughs> guesses ever, uh, Dagomar isn't our Obi-Wan Kenobi. He's our fucking Darth Vader. Yeah. Be quiet, you miserable dragon master. How was it in the eternal ice then? <laughs> he even starts up a voice filter as well. He's the traitor of the great people. He was one of the wisest men of his time, but he used his knowledge to manipulate the monsters and become absolute ruler of all Gothos. And now he's doing it again. If he gets his hands on the crystals and gains control of the shield generator, then we're all done for. I've told you before to keep out of this. What do you know of my plans? Besides, this is between me and the hero's girlfriend. All right. If you won't listen, take this instead. Hey, what are you doing to Archon? I knew you couldn't be trusted. Let him go, or... Be quiet, or you'll be sorry. If I can't have the greatest hero of all the remaining old ones and the crystals of eternity, I'll have to make do with the little old one lady here. You have enough pure old one blood and goodness in your veins to activate the shield generator. Your squeaky clean friend is going to miss you. Sooner or later, he will deliver both the crystals and himself to me, because he'll come looking for you. An ingenious plan, don't you think? 
Yeah, only one that's been played out like, what, a few hundred thousand times <laughs> across all of media and history. It feels very Saturday cartoon. Also, I slipped up on this, but uh, in the tower we read of the uh, name of the traitor, Remogad. And, well, just check out Dagomar's the name and read it backwards. Yeah, you're right. You're right, the oh, bloody heck. Also, I would not call him Darth Vader. This could be Palpatine. <laughs> well, he's using green lightning. Yeah, and what Palpatine that tricked Anakin to call him Darth Vader. So does that make Melvin Anakin? By the bones of my brother, Anakin. it's much worse than I imagined. Dagomar must have kidnapped Talus. How am I going to explain this to Melvin? He'll be furious. I wish he were here. Then we could start looking for her. I could have followed Dagomar. Then at least I would know where he and Talus are now. What did he say? He needs her at the shield generator? Why? Whatever happens, Melvin and I must get to Helmataros as fast as we can to find the shield generator. We're sure to find Dagomar and Talus there. As long as Dagomar has Talus, he must on no account get hold of the Crystals of Eternity. It looks as though Melvin freed me from the ice at just the right time to save this world. I wonder whether I should wait for him here. <laughs> okay, so instead of just, you know, taking off and flying around to look for us, uh, he's just going to park his scaly ass here. <laughs> Uh, well, he certainly is lazy as a prince. And, yeah, for some... Oh, I think... For some reason, he... Dagomar needs either of us and the crystals to do something with the shield generator. And, yeah, he said something about a stasis field. Uh, and, well, we're missing one quiz... Crystal. Crystal. Good. Why do I sometimes get a lisp like that? <laughs> no idea. Oh! Oh god, I was about to tell you about the uh, hot springs and sulfur smell. I, I see this in a movie, but I think I heard it is actually a true thing. Like, if you smell sulfur and you're about to enter hot spring, don't enter it good way. You will be boiled alive! Yeah, that means that somewhere there's a geothermal vent uh, leaking into the place. Yeah, so the hot spring is no longer the hot spring. It's, it's a boiling uh, spring. Literally, in this case. And I'm uh, pretty sure... I think you heard it from a YouTube video that uh, what they saw, showed in the movie when this happened, they said that yeah, if this happened to them in real life, it would look way worse what they it would have done with their bodies. Yeah, I think I know a movie that you mean. I think it was one of those disaster movies. Yeah. Uh, with a, a couple of now. skinny dipping into a hot spring. Or not skinny dipping, or just it's, they were swimming skinny in a hot spring. Okay. They were skinny dipping. And then they were found uh, yeah, dead in the water. Yeah, a, a little girl found them naked and uh, dead in the water with the back, both backs turned up, but... Uh. Yeah, if that had been more accurate, uh, they basically would have looked like cooked pork, I think. Yeah, they... they basically, they, they were rather... They looked mind-burned, but well, they should look more... Severely boil damaged. Yep. And luckily we are not showing pictures of that. Yeah, certainly. Uh. And there's a there's a there's a two-tone trumpet bit in the song in the track for this area. It was just there when we are were on the uh, elevator here. But that keeps reminding me of the freaking starting tune for Freeman's Mind. Oop. What? Uh, yeah, Freeman's Mind is a machinima, uh, a very liked one as well. It's basically what if uh, Gordon Freeman 
uh, wouldn't shut the hell up as he went through the disasters in Black Mesa. And got <laughs> progressively more unhinged as he went. Better the version of him being so quiet all the time. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Okay, we've already covered most of this area. And I think we just need to head upstairs. Actually, I figured that... Why does so many games have lava levels? Well, because lava is... Well, not really cool, but... <laughs> people think it's cool. Yeah, though... Oh, during my time growing up... It was very common for people having a very big disdain for ice and lava levels. Yeah, Especially lava. lava. Yeah, lava because, well, like we demonstrated earlier, it instant kills you. And yeah. personally, I've never really had much of a trouble with ice levels. But uh, most people do not like ice physics at all. Yeah, hit and miss when it comes to ice levels. Like, it depends what kind of ice at snow level. Like, if it is ice physics, it can be annoying if they're done very, very badly. And there has been games that did it very badly. And, but heck, po some Pokemon games I played, the uh, ice physics were just frustrating. Yeah, the sliding puzzles. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, I, I think I might have just gotten used to ice physics over time. Uh, but I generally do not mind them as much. I think they may actually be sort of phased out in most games. Yeah, most you, you see them a lot less these day, days. Though so yeah. they'll still show up every now and then. Yeah, they mostly... I think most of them, they do appear they... Uh, have been a, a bit more fine-tuned to be less frustrating. Yeah. It is to my knowledge. Let's see, how are we in potions? Pretty but good. Lava still. levels. Um, yeah. They not changed too much. <laughs> yeah, and well, basically every Mario game ever has to end on a lava level because of Bowser. Come on. Yeah, I... I... It doesn't make sense to be in a lava area like this unless you some being that can handle it. And just... I, I told you before, I hate jumping puzzles due to I am very bad at jumping in games. Especially in jumping puzzles, there, man. People love making jumping puzzle challenges in lava levels. Like this well, one. It, it is literally a game of... Uh the floor is lava. Yeah. And it's Come bloody on. annoying. I hit the space bar there. Why did you not jump, Melvin? Or do I need to go somewhere else? I don't think there's anywhere else to go here. It does not. <clears throat> uh, there, there's a somewhat new game out that I had played for a bit, but eventually grew a bit bored of. Uh, it, it's called Volcanoids. It's, uh, it's, it's one of those survival shooter games. Ooh, yeah, that one. And it was pretty fun for the time that it lasted, but yeah, it got to a point where I, it, the enemies just really annoyed me with how many of them they would come charging after you. So, I'll have to take a look at that if they maybe rebalance things a bit. But otherwise, I probably wouldn't touch it without... Hmm, yeah, without someone else to co-op with it. Though I don't know if that might as well just make more enemies spawn just to balance things out. I think it might be, but it, it looks like it's one of those games. And I Still... think I remember seeing... Uh, oh, what were they called again? Was primate ever? Uh, they they played a bit for, of it, yeah. Yeah, and that turned chaotic. I saw the hordes they did, and they were even early <laughs> on, and their hordes were massive. Yeah, it could have been because of the amount of players. Yeah, it's, like it's always sure. nice when games uh, have some sort of uh, 
yeah, difficulty scaling like that, but it can get a bit out of hand. Now, where the hell are we supposed to go here? Yeah. I think this way. Realize me, they actually tried to add a difficulty scale to Valheim. Okay. But they, they're not going to do it until uh, when it's closer to done. Yeah, like, then they, they won't have, have to fine-tune it every time. Yeah, so basically, we need to have all the mobs and such ready. They can do it hmm. right away. Okay, or this looks like a very bad it. idea. <laughs> Case in point. Uh, how's the bath? A bit toasty. <laughs> you will say toasty! <laughs> I knew it! Yep. <laughs> You'd think I'd be used to the platforming in this game by now, with how the with my, how Melvin's model is a little bit off from where you would expect him to be, but no. Oh. <laughs> really the same. You should most at really like lower buffs. At least it doesn't seem to be costing us any health, or I'm just completely missing it, draining away. Where are we supposed to go? I'm presuming that the big red line is in... Not cross... So Skittles? What? Yeah, okay. it's in I saw the Skittles a bit of fear over it. No, 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 wait. It, that's candy. Candy I've never actually had, I think. Wait, what? Hmm. Uh, let's... <laughs> Oh. Hmm. Immediately catch a fireball up the ass. But yeah, to my knowledge, I've never re ever had uh, Skittles. Though I presume they'd basically be the same as Smarties, which I tried, I think, like once or so, and I didn't really like them. Wait, wait, maybe I, I should yeah, try them again. I had Skittles either. I, I had MMMs. But I'm sure Skittles and MMs are alike. Like, those Skittles have chocolate in them? I... presume so. Okay, we can jump down on those platforms, but we can't jump back up from them, it seems, so... Again, the question becomes where the hell do we need to go? Okay, now I'm not sure I had Skittles or not. I don't think this is going to do much, they, but we might as well try. If they use like bigger M&Ms, they shouldn't be too bad, unless there's something else in the flavor. I, th uh, I think maybe maybe not all of them, but I think some of them have peanuts in them. But there's also M&Ms that have peanuts in them. Drew, but it's hard to know if I try skilos or not since. M&M's are a big yes. It's hard to not go past a candy eye without them. But skills? Yeah, we don't sell those in bags here. And do... Yeah, we sell them in bags, but also sell them that you can just freely scoop. There... No, we are, we've already been here. We can't make these jumps. Hmm. Wait. Uh, that is, is annoying. Like, it's summer. I have both fans on, and this doesn't. It's not too warm and all that. Thanks to the fans, but you see, in the lava makes me my body wanna sweat. Uh, I've set up the big fan right next to me again. Uh, it isn't on at the moment, but it has been on for a, a few days. Wait, wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Your biggest fan is in your room? <laughs> yeah, it's... Uh, there's where we need to go. S stupid platform is out of sight. Well, yeah, uh, what's the name? For the moment... Uh, it doesn't have a name because... Well, there's a name on it. Solus. So Solus is your biggest fan. <laughs> oh, come on, was that your dad bad that you had to burn yourself? 
No, I just missed a stupid jump. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I do like this game, but yeah, the platforming is driving me a bit up the walls. Like most lava levels of this uh, time and age were, were probably why people hate them until this day. Like, I still have people fine tune and removed some things from uh, just a bit more tolerable and more enjoyable. But lava levels, yeah, like, I don't get it. Even Ark has it a lot, and I hate it. Okay. We need to go play, apparently, a game of flippers. Uh, let's see. Okay, I'm not sure this would count as flippers, but... Uh... Or a pinball. Uh, oh! Okay, now I see what you mean. So that goes there, then there. And that plugs Wait. up that hole. Does that have uh, eyes? Wait. Uh, Never mind. <laughs> but what? What? Was that meant to? Are we doing hmm. this right or wrong? Probably wrong. Uh, maybe it's color coded or something. Wait, that one, the ball was red. So. And that one is red. Yep, so now it should go towards the red hole. There we go. Not that it really ah. should have mattered because it's still just a boulder that should have fallen into a rock. Well, into a hole. A boulder falling into a rock. That sounds like some sort of <laughs> weird. Uh, philosophical, no, philosophical, uh, <laughs> yeah, romance novel attempt or something. Or oh, just a way of uh, making boulder into smaller rocks. We're crushing a rock with a bigger rock. Anyways, we've got a blue ball now. So, launch. So, who took the time to set all of this up? Who was bored enough in a volcano? Okay, that gets another platform moving, and there is something over there, but I can't get a good enough look without a Zamra. Zamra camera zooms past. Okay, a uh, yellow ball. Um, that, okay, I see how we can do that. We leave that one alone. But we turn this one, that way the ball will go over here. Simple enough. Hopefully. Don't break it! <laughs> Apparently, getting the lever to work was harder than the freaking puzzle. Wait, that, doesn't that one look a bit more green? No. Uh... It's on the edge between yellow and greenish. There we go. What uh, is that? Okay, done with the uh, <laughs> game of lava pinball. Let's see. Oh, that even points. was pinball? I I wasn't sure what that was, to be honest. Yeah, whatever it was, it's over now, and it's a book. A new spell. Terrific! It's a magic battle shield, which I can put to good use in close combat. It's only useful for attacking, though, and offers no protection against enemy weapons. <laughs> Why is it a shield? Is it like a magical shield bash? <laughs> uh, let's give it a try. There, magic battle shield, defense, and attack modes. Uh, got it. Okay, I'm pretty sure Melvin would be throwing up from this, just flashing in front of his face. <laughs> oh well, let's see if it has a duration or if it just needs to, uh, yeah, deal a certain amount of damage or. 
Yeah, that's proof that it doesn't protect. <laughs> okay, can I swap spells without this giving up? Nope. Okay, I can. Oh well. Now then. I yep, you were I think we're at the end here. Hey, stop! No one is allowed to enter Shocktown without my permission. Either you do me a very big favor to earn the right to enter, or get right back to where you came from. If you want to see Shocktown, then you may be able to help me. Two days ago, one of our caravans was attacked nearby by those treacherous firefaces. Our men managed to escape, but some of their goods are still lying scattered about out there. The valuable items have probably been taken already, but what I desperately need from those boxes is more geodes. They're special stones we need for a particular purpose, but I can disclose nothing. If you manage to bring me seven of them, I will see what I can do about your entry permit. Okay, so this is what we needed them for. But I think from these... Well, there was the hand item over noise there, so we, we probably already had seven. Otherwise, it would have been an absolute pain in the ass to go back and look for them. Yeah. And also, see... see. Since you have brought me the Sorry? geodes... From now on, you have the right to enter Shakhtar. May your trade ever prosper. Right, I would say, uh, some of the issues you can see is the analogies. They should cut it up a little bit and allow Melvin to reply between them for a bit more organic feel. Yeah. Hey, God! Didn't you hear what I said? Go to the Trade Master and tell him that this Steamer Dreamer here has been allowed into the city. And I'm guessing Consider Melvin just told him. Oh, so what sort of weapon is that? It looks like a mixture of a can opener and an axe. And another thing. Oh, yes, I know boss. what it is. Hurry up, if you please. Otherwise, our guests may get there ahead of you. It might be a vault. No. Or, or more a easy need to pronounce. Pole cleaver. Okay, like a pole axe. Yeah, uh, with uh, a pole arm with a. Uh, oh, there's all there are other pole arms with axe handles, axe heads and such. Yeah, and a vault or pole cleaver is basically just a. If it's just use a big shunk cleaver shunk on top of the uh, long shaft, it hasn't been fine tuned to look like an axe head, just like a big cleaver with yeah. sometimes a barb. The, this one has that little bit on the other side that really makes me think it's just an oversized can opener or something. Yeah, they usually have those sometimes. They're usually not in this pattern. They usually have the spike pointed backwards, not like a can opener. Since my... you have brought me the geodes, he has nothing new. Sorry I about that. I guess it might be used as a sword catcher. Could be. At last, I've arrived in Shock Town. It took quite a while to get here. I hope someone can tell me where to find Helmetaros. Fredo, my old friend from the Hive, must live here too. I'll inquire about him. He could be very helpful. That's the uh, wounded shark that we found in the hive. And yeah, now we're out of the volcano and into Shark Town. And if I remember correctly, this is going to be a. This is probably going to be the last open world. No, not. This is going to be similar to Dreamer and Steamer Town, if my memory is correct. Now I leave the city! Uh, okay. Very much and like. Also Uh, going. Are you, do you notice something about the steward crate over there? The yep. <laughs> Lava glow. Or rather it'd be magma now since it's on the ground. Yeah, it makes me wonder why is that crate there? Well, you called it a sewer grate, so they might as well be throwing stuff down there. 
Yeah, those don't really look safe. I will probably make it a solid lead, not like someone might drop a coin or something in there. What do you want here? I don't let strangers into my house. Out! You better do what she says. Uh, yeah, I, I think most of this area is going to be a bit dead until we start a certain something. And hello there. Hello, what the? young man. If you have an iron ball, then we can get a little game going. Hmm? Uh, uh, something's wrong with his legs. Yep, hello. I can't get any further. The wall's too hard. I was only told to open it up because of a leaking pipe, but it's bone dry. Well, I better check it anyway. Perhaps the best way to solve this problem is to blast it. You haven't got a bomb on you by any chance. Uh-oh. Run! Yeah, and he automatically does it? There, he does it for us. <laughs> There's the pipe. Wait. Hey, what's happening? Oh, steam blowing out. By my kidney stones, something's broken. <laughs> Oops. Oh, hell. That's done it. Now there's an enormous hole in the inlet pipe to the steam bath. Uh, you, you were the one who placed the bomb, not, not us. Oh, great. The idea was for you to help me with your fantastic tools to repair the pipe in the wall. Not to wreck it completely. You know what? You will have to face the music for this. If it weren't for your stupid bomb, we wouldn't be in this mess. Or you could have placed it not that close. Uh. No, hey, just hold on there. I didn't place the bomb there. It was you, not me. Hey, what's going on here? No steam is coming through the steam baths. Don't just stand there gawping. Haven't you seen an old man before? Do something. Well, we've seen old men before, but we haven't seen... Well, we, we have seen walking corpses, well, just not one so scaly. And naked? It wasn't me. It was him. It was his bomb. Yep, come on. Bomb? Are you crazy? What are you doing with bombs? Time would be better spent finding something to stop up the holes in the steam pipes. Well, this doesn't sound familiar at all. But I... I... Okay, okay. Perhaps I was a little rude to you. But old men don't like to shit around freezing to death. If you repair the pipe, I'm sure I can give you a little something as a reward. Well, that's probably the first <laughs> more... That's probably the most nice thing that Melvin has heard in quite a while. It's a creepy, because he knows the sniveling. Too difficult for you, eh? Don't make me laugh. Now see to it that you repair the pipe. And you can take that shovel, too. I don't need it anymore. Now I can think of one good place to stick this shovel. You can shove it up yours. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, we're going to have to go around completing well tasks around all over the place again. Barrel. I don't remember if there's a certain hmm? barrel. <laughs> yeah, that's barrel. a big barrel. <laughs> a holy <laughs> barrel! <laughs> uh, well, hello there. Hello, Melvin. 
how nice to see you again in good health. As you have probably guessed, I found my way to the hive by following your advice. Luckily, I hitched a ride on a shark caravan and they took me home so my leg could heal. Now I'm fighting fit and will soon be off on another training trip. By the way, I still have an axe I found in the hive. Please take it as a sign of my gratitude. You did save my life after all. <laughs> and Have thank you, Fredo. The city. Perhaps you find something of interest. Is there a bit of a mismatch? On the picture, his napkin is purple, but on his model, it's blue. But oh well. Another new weapon, and I think this might be the last one. Powerful close combat weapon. And it's basically the same as the hammer, only more powerful. Surprise! Our, our strongest weapon has been Moonstar, Hammer, and Axe. Usually they go with a magical sword or something. Are you a traitor too? You don't look at all like one to me. <laughs> No, you don't look like much of a fashion model if you mix all of that together. <laughs> like, if she'd kept it to yellow and red, then it would have been more understandable, but... it, <laughs> I I know next to nothing about fashion, but uh, I'm pretty sure that green does not mix with the yellow and red like that. <laughs> oh dear. And no, I thought she'd ask you if you were a traitor as well. <laughs> uh, yeah, we have enough of those at the moment. We can't get into that little alcove. But yeah, so far the old one, man one just sounded ac probably accidentally almost pervy. <laughs> In the way he said reward and all. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you hear. This must be the mechanism controlling the lift. But I don't want to try it now. I'm determined not to get myself into trouble in the first few minutes of my stay here. Well, we'll see how long that will last. Yeah. You don't want to go in, do you? Okay, we can't even go in, apparently. Uh, not a barrel for you. Now, let's see. Hmm. Yeah, we're, we we are going to need to find a cork or something to stop up that leak. Yeah, and it, this leads to the steam bounce. It seems they are using thermal thermal vents here. There's a lot of pipes. Hmm. It's getting a little chilly in here now, don't you think? Okay, we've got old shock and very old shock. And what is this? This plant looks as though someone has been digging here recently. Okay. That's a nice little looking crystal or obelisk or whatever it is. I think it's oh, actually yeah. giving off a sound. It is. And also, fun fact yeah. volcanic soil is very fertile. Yep, because it's. It gets uh, a lot of nutrients from the on the ground. Oh yeah, I think, I think you can do very good farming Get out of here, half pint. on those grounds. But the, the half pint. The, I know it's an insult, but it's one really you don't hear too often nowadays. Housework is the worst thing you can get a shark to do. Just look how many gold coins are lying around here, needing to be polished. <laughs> okay, this <laughs> true just ex-wife or something. I don't even think he spent time polishing gold coins. Well, he did. And well, Every let's coin. let's lighten her burden a little bit by removing the bucket. <laughs> it doesn't need polishing. But, yeah, as you can say, the shark trades are very profitable if they just have 
boxes of coins everywhere. Oh, hello. This one has a young one. <laughs> it looks a bit funny. It, it looks like it looks like one of the the, the the one of the dinos in the Ark that you can put on your shoulder. Oh, but this one is more attached to your back. My husband is on an important trading trip in the distant regions of Gothas. We don't expect him back for several moon cycles. Okay, no comment on the kid. Um, let's see, what have we here? This, this is looking very lush. Did we just wander into that? Ah, so you are Melvin, the great hero who dared to rescue the geode stones from the abandoned crate. Weren't you afraid of the fire faces? Fire faces. It, it it describes them accurately. It just sounds so stupid. <laughs> so I can't tell if he's being sarcastic or not. I'm Malorn, the trade master. I happen to be rather busy at the moment, as election day is approaching, and Listard, my opponent, desperately wants my job. What's more, he likes to play dirty. I found out that if he becomes trade master, he wants to take away his brother Sistorn's trading license. You see, if he becomes trade master, the Shack traditions are in danger of disappearing. Perhaps you would be kind enough to discreetly suggest to Sistorn that his brother does not entirely wish him well. You want to know how the election works? It's very simple. Every male Shack has a voting coin, which he presents to the candidate of his choice. On a particular day, the coins held by each candidate are counted, and the one who has the most coins wins. I need exactly three more voting coins to be on the safe side. Will you help me get them? Okay. Can't really say that isn't playing dirty or too dirty <laughs> as well. Thank goodness I got away from the chief guard out there. If everyone thought as much of their own importance as him, we'd have nothing but trade masters here. So basically, they're mayor. And here's another one of these singing stones. And a little guard. Does that mean? Does that mean they are capitalism? Uh, well, <laughs> have you not noticed all of the coin around? Yeah, just. Yeah, they're taking Catalonia into a new route of being very traitor-like. Yeah, you could say they are being very Dutch. Uh, I did not. <laughs> I did not think of that. And yeah, that might be, uh, that might subconsciously be another reason why I like the shark. <laughs> oh dear. The the other, other thing I can think of is something like a trade prince. And of course, well, goblins. Like uh, with a walker of goblins and all that, but... Trade master is kind of a new... variation of the title. And here we have lava... F well, not completely open, blowing around. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we would have burned the... our feet otherwise. Yeah, those are the ones I mentioned earlier. Okay, I missed them up to now. Would you like to buy or sell something? Uh, oh, you have a magic box, so I'll be taking that. Uh, let's see. Intelligence cube, okay. Yeah, uh, you yes. might need that. Wait. That came off room, sorry. <laughs> Uh, let's see. 
Oh, he has enough arrows. Here's enough of those. We can sell some of those. Though we don't really need cash that much. And we can save our one final torch. Even though we've hardly needed them at all. Yeah. Here we go. There we go. Uh, oh, before I forget, I, I, need, I need to say this about his opponent. Listard. Really? Uh. Remove the T and it's lizard. <laughs> but all the old ones that mean a pair of brand new shoes for a single gold coin. Is it a deal? Yeah, go ahead. I would say compared to all other sharks here that have a very nice and unique name. <laughs> the one you that is a possible bad guy just called Listard. <laughs> like <laughs> That one they went lazy with. <laughs> the creativity has to run out at one point or another. Uh. Mm. Okay, then let's make a deal. Stop. You broke the traditional trading laws. You haven't examined the goods properly. You're under arrest. Off to prison with you. And, well, in the Wait, first minutes, uh, we caught, we got into trouble. It was him. He flouted the trading laws. But, but, but I was going to examine the goods more closely. I already had my purse to hand. Be quiet. Just follow me without making a fuss. Wait, what? Uh, yeah, it wouldn't be a, a, a fantasy species without at least one stupid rule. Use the time well to learn our trading laws. You will need them if you want to stay in Town. And yeah, what he what he was blocking off was the prison. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Oh, might as well start. Trading is permitted in the marketplace only. Women are not permitted to trade. It is the duty of the male members of the family to provide their women with everything they need to run the household. Uh, hello. <laughs> okay. Trade in um, goods whose value exceeds 250 gold coins must be notified to the trade master in advance. I am Royston, and like you, I have disregarded the trading rules. Now we are both here to burn them into our brain. That means that I won't be out of here before the election. Can you keep a secret? I've hidden my voting coin under a plant in one of the oases. If I hadn't done that, someone might have taken it from me. And now we know what they look like under those napkins. Yeah, they look too, too bad. So why is he not wearing his napkin? And why he's naked? Uh, I think you answered the first uh, question with the second question. Though the, que the answer to the second question uh, is going to have to elude us, I think. Uh, and I really don't like the laws. They are a bit... Uh, Furthermore, every the trader must accept and observe the trading rules issued by the trade master. Yeah. Barter trade is the most elegant and highly regarded form of trade. When bartering, each trader must offer the goods up for prior examination, after which the trade is confirmed by shaking hands. Wait, are they Ferengi? You've had enough time to learn the trading laws. You can go. But remember these rules when you enter the marketplace. 
And yeah, that was the mistake we made. Though throwing you in prison for that, someone who isn't even a shark, you you could have just <laughs> you could have just told us what our mistake was. Shachs of immature years may trade only if accompanied by their father or the trade master. That is good because, yeah, kids are more likely to get swindled. Trade is an art, so every male shach is required to study the Great Book of Trade for at least two years before he may apply for an official trading license. The great Book of Trade? <laughs> <laughs> Only those shach holding a valid trading license have the right to enter the shach treasure chambers and to stand in the election for trade master. There we go. Wait, so, wait. Hmm? wait, wait. What year did this came out again? Uh, 1999 or something. Around 2000 at least, I believe. So either after or the same year as Deep Space Nine. So, yeah, these are lizard Varangi. Yeah. Though they are less cutthroat, at least. Still sexist, but less cutthroat. Hey, dickhead. If you give me a ring and a mushroom, I'll give you an iron ball. Just look at that. Really? I've got a book here. I'll give it to you for a goblet of meat. And uh, yeah, it's a trading puzzle. Oh dear. I am interested in a book. I can give you an amulet and a nut from distant steamer town for it. <laughs> Are you interested in this ring? It's yours for a dragon's tooth. <laughs> okay, so we need to give you a dragon's tooth for that. If you give me a book, I'll give you an egg for it. It comes from the caves in the south. Okay, okay. I'll give you a mushroom as well. <laughs> a book for the egg? I'll give you a skull. A Would skull? you like to buy or sell something? Uh, this is just the same guy. Uh, yeah, we're going to need to find some stuff and trade things back and forth if I remember if I remember correctly. Do you need a dragon's tooth? I'll give it to you for a delicious egg. Ah, my friend, I can make you a special offer for us. A... Oh, yeah, I see what you mean now. Yep, we, uh, they each have, they each want, and, uh, well, they have, they all have two or three things to give. We just need to, well, get the items for it. Uh, you know, first, uh, let's go I, gig I up Bitcoin. I don't like trading puzzles, and I think I hate them even more when they are in an episode of a series. I found For just something. just annoying quickly. Coin. Terrific! This will be of great help. Unfortunately, I've ruined the shovel in the process. The Lord of the Great Steam Engine giveth and taketh away. Yeah, how did you screw up a shovel by just digging around like that? Uh, then again, uh, our strength is a bit high. Can you repeat that, please? His strength is a bit high. No, no, before that. Yeah, how he ruined the shovel just by digging around with it. Oh, you said digging, all right. <laughs> what did you think I said? I thought you said digging, I thought, wait, what? Get out of here, half pint. <laughs> hmm. Okay, we have a bucket. So, yeah, man, I missed out of you meant he was swinging around the shovel like a lunatic. I uh, wouldn't have been surprised if it had been a new weapon suddenly. Yeah, uh, that's what many people mean with digging around, uh, I hope, beside... Beside being something in the windows. Uh, yep. When it is screwing around with something and doing dumb stuff and hello, someone's gone. Yeah, no. Oh, there you are. I will not push that past you, for you are known for doing that. 
Fine. That's one voting coin more for me. Well done, but we still need two more. Okay, we need two more, and I have no clue really where to get them from. And I also have not much of a clue of where to even start with the trading quest. Because, well, we don't have any of those. Alright, wait just for a second. One of them wanted a crystal. I think, but also something oh, else. Crystal? We got a crystal here. Let's go take a chat with them again. Would you like to buy or sell? Now it's you. Do you need a dragon's tongue, ah, my friend? Let's see. Who wants the crystal? If you give me a ring, I've got a book here. He wants a drink. I am interested in a... Are you interested? He wants the tooth. If you give... I'll give you a... An amulet. And luckily it's only these four. But no, they, they don't want a crystal. And what do we need the crystal for? We have the prison here. Uh, playground. Let's see if any other NPCs popped up now. And, well, maybe we can shove that crystal into the pipe to fix it that way. Uh, that's Listard over there, I think. Yep. Hey, it might be the nut you need for that. Yeah, it might be a bit small for that, though. If it's a um, nut from Steam Town, it might not be a nut you eat, but a, you know, nut from a machine. Uh, I, that would still leave a hole in it because, well, nuts have holes what in them. What do you want here? You again. Uh, hmm. Yeah, where do we get started on this, then? Hello, Hello. my name is Sistorn. Yesterday, I returned from a trading mission which lasted over four moon cycles. First, I must have a wander around the city and find out what's new. I've heard rumors that my brother, Listard, wants to become a master trader. I can't believe it. My own brother wants to push me out. In that case, I'm certainly not giving him my voting coin. Are you positive? Where did you get this information? I wish I had proof so I could throw it in Listard's face. Well, that's probably that scroll that he has laying on his table. So we'll probably have to rush in, grab it and rush back out. Because if we told him that it was his brother's opponent who said that, uh, he'd probably be a lot less likely to believe us. Yep, uh, be right back. I need to clean my mustache from the ice cream earlier. Very well. I am a friend of his. But you saved my life, so I'll help you out by enticing him away out of his house. He loves crystals and collects them. If we could get a hold of a really fine one, I could lure him to the marketplace with it. Okay, I was just going to check if he had anything to say, but I didn't think he'd actually have anything, to, well, to say. Ah, wonderful! You brought me a crystal! Now, I'll pay Listard a visit and see whether he takes the bait! Uh, he's going to take it hook, line, and sinker. And... Hello, Listard. I've got something I'd like to offer you. I understand you are interested in crystals. A crystal? 
crystal. <laughs> that sounds good. <laughs> go on. We'll keep to the old training rules and go to the marketplace and discuss this more seriously. <laughs> And there we go. Now we can just sneak in, grab that letter, or whatever it is. And he's probably been dumb enough to actually write his plans down on it. So, where was it from here? Yeah, up north. This way then. What the heck? I do find like the idea of them all, all trade had to be in that burger place since, well, yeah. It, harder to do some uh, shady deals that way. Yep. There they are. So let's just ignore them for a bit. Yep. And it should be through here and up here. And up there. The, here it is. Okay. Let's see. My plan for the future of Gothos. After long consideration, I have reached the conclusion that there is only one solution I must control all trade in Gothos and make all other rulers my playthings. My shark agents will soon be traveling the land selling goods at prices set by me. They may be a little a bit higher than before, but my treasure chamber will always be plentiful. First though, I must become Shark Town's trade master and put my brother Sistorn out of action. Apart from Mulorn, he would be the first to oppose my plans. He is always so painfully honest. The safest thing will be to withdraw his training licenses immediately after my election. Signed Listard, future ruler of Gothos. Um, I don't want to say it, but you could remove the list and replace it with two other words. I think something could be done about it. Let us. Really, he was stupid enough to actually sign his evil plan. Oh, <sighs> dear. Yeah, I suspect uh, that the uh, brother. He's an honest uh, trader, a good trader. So he's not going he's... to be too happy when his brother turns out to be a traitor. Yeah, probably more lean towards hypercapitalism and mono uh, extreme monopoly. Yeah. Thank you very much for helping me find out the truth. In return, I'll give you my voting coin. I've lost interest. Vote for the opposing candidate for all I care. I regard my brother's candidature somewhat tongue-in-cheek anyway, for reasons that are well known. Well, from what we saw of, of the uh, naked <laughs> shark, uh, you don't really have much room in your mouth for cheeks when the jaws seem to go all the way back. Yeah, that's two coins down. One more to go. Hmm. So there's a little space down there that we haven't explored yet. There's no passage through here. We might be able to find something to fix the leak. Or, well, it's less a leak now and more just a big old rupture over here. There's yeah. another oasis. Yeah. Uh, okay, this is an interesting court to your. Again, I have an issue with how they treat the women. Like, allow the women to trade. Yeah. Uh, sorry about that. Something was itching my no nose. Leave the city. Now we're back here with this jackass. And yeah, here's some hop hop. Or what would it? Uh, well, hop hop, I think. I'm not sure what the big or one is called. Or pop hops or something like that. Hmm. Either way, we have one more face to talk to. I look after the pop hops. Please, don't go too near them. It's dangerous when they stamp around. And now we remember how we uh, fix up the hole. Well, we messed up name badly, or you do. <laughs> the oh, wait. Unintentional that's... transformation of a steel bucket. A few moments ago, it was a bucket, but now, behold, a beautiful flat sheet of metal. <laughs> if only everything in my life so far had been so simple. Okay, that's the hop hop. Then what are the other the other ones? 
Now that they said it's in it multiples. It, it might be that they are the same species. Maybe I... these are young or... No, no. No, no, no. too different, too face. different. Way too different. Like, they are not amphibians. Okay, it must have... It. I'm... During the des in the desert part, or the canyon, they were also talking about hop-ops, but then it was... I, then I think they were talking about these as well. It might be that they forgot to name the big ones. Or it they were a different a, breed. Yeah, they could also be a mis mistake in translation. True. That I didn't know which was which and just... Name both the same. Could be, yeah. But now we can fix the leak and uh, get our reward from the old pervert. I think you should know what to do. Now shut up, you. Let me just do your job for you again. Hmm. Ah, what a brilliant idea. You've repaired the pipe. Good. Yep. You're pretty well, fast. My, my young friend. It was really kind of you to repair the pipe. Now, at least the steam bath will work again. Here, take this jug of mead as a small token of thanks. So, you were drinking whilst in the sauna? I'm not uh, sure if that's a good idea or not. Uh, People do that. It's common. And I'm not sure if warm mead would be nice or not. I, I still need to find a way to import some of that stuff as well. You plan to try mead? Uh, yep. How about you drink alcohol? No. Uh, mead I do want to try since, well, it's honey and other stuff. And oh. yeah, I, I don't like most alcohols because I only seem to be able to taste the freaking alcohol itself. But I do want to give me at least a try at one point. All right. Do let me know how it tastes. <laughs> if you give me... I'll... Okay. Do you need you want it, I believe? To... Ah, my friend. I can make you a special no. offer for a... Was it if you who wanted, wanted to drink then? I see you have a jug of mead. If you want to get rid of it, I'll give you a book for it. Yes? Okay, this time let, let's inspect everything before we hand over the coins. There we go. Now, you wanted the book? I see you got a book that interests me. Will you take an egg and a mushroom for it? Oh, now, what is with this egg, then? There's there's a mushroom. That, I wouldn't eat that. <laughs> and, oh, an egg from the hive. Uh, I think you'll want to throw that into the lava as soon as you can. Or cook it, if possible. And That's an unusual egg you've got there. Will you swap it for a dragon's tooth? <laughs> Sorry? Someone's tall? <laughs> Boy, he's just standing a lot straighter because he's trying to be impressive. Well, being a megalomaniac and everything. Oh dear. So, Dragon's Tooth, and I think you wanted that. Nope. You've got a Dragon's Tooth. <laughs> I've been looking for one of those for ages. I'll give you a ring for it. Okay. Okay, looks pretty nice. Some two small emeralds and an amethyst. You've got a mushroom and a ring, I see. Give me those, and I'll give you an iron ball for them. What do you say? Uh, this is probably a lot more heavily leaned in your favor, but oh well, we need that ball. 
to play the stupid game with the gambler down here. Uh, which will be uh, going around here. Arrow! <laughs> oh, I think I know what to, to give you for a perch, should we ever need to. I see you have an iron ball. The rules are simple. Throw your ball at the wall, and the person whose ball lands nearest the wall is the winner. <laughs> Shall we play? So basically a simple version of Joe de Boule. What do you call me? <laughs> Hello. I'll show you how to play this. Well, that's some obvious trickery. If you want to play again, you know where I am. No. At the very least, he's not whipping us for all of our cash. But yeah, that was some obvious screw we were with that. And with uh, the, the lady out of the house. Yeah. A magnet. I wonder what happens if I turn it round. Turn it, you may turn it around. Was that a uh, typo? Could be, but no, uh, it, it, it comes to the same basically. I see you have yeah, an yeah, why, why would you be cheating at a simple game like that and not try to extort us for cash? For like, might be illegal thing to do, says it's a certain marketplace or something. Mm, gambling wouldn't really be trade. So, so it might be illegal. Yeah, it might be. Or rather, illegal to gamble with money. You've won! You know my trick with the magnet. Listen, what if I give you my voting coin, and in return, promise not to give me away? Agreed? This game is my best source of income. So without it, my family would starve. Please? Never mind. <laughs> you even have... Actually, that, that might be his room on the other side there. But, yeah. yeah. And no, never know. They were doing gambling. Yeah, he just wasn't charging us, probably because... Yeah, maybe he just doesn't think we have anything worth yeah, gambling over. Uh, also, let's... game mechanic wise, for otherwise, we would yeah. gr be grinding so much gold. Not that really. I think this is the last place where gold can be of any use. Uh, yeah, but three? we are going to run out of it. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that's the last coin that we need. Uh, not completely legally obtained, but oh well, better than the megalomaniac jackass. Yeah. I just realized, you can't even leave the town. Yep. Excellent, Mel. Thanks to the three extra voting coins you found for me, I'm sure to remain trade master. And there we go. That's Shark Town done, I think. You have been invaluable help in the election. Without you, I wouldn't have remained trade master, guaranteeing honest and fair trade in Shachtown and throughout Gothos. This star can try again at the next election. I'm sorry that you want to leave us so soon, Melvin. Under my tutelage, you had the makings of an excellent trader. I hope to see you again soon, and wish you luck in your difficult mission. Farewell! I'm presuming that they mean that there was a bit of a, <laughs> a time skip, perhaps? A time skip? Yeah, did I say skip or skips? A, a bit of a time skip 
uh, by a few days, perhaps. To express our gratitude, and because we know of your mission, we grant you access to the lower chambers of the volcano. Our treasure chambers are to be found there, among other things. Take whatever seems attractive or useful to you. But be warned, none of us dare enter the deeper regions of the chambers. Many monsters are lurking there. So take this amulet of experience with you as a present from me. With Wait, this, what? you will be able to strike more frequently and accurately with your weapon. Thank you for the oh, amulet. Okay. It's very generous of you, Trade Master. I shall do my best to be worthy of this honor. May your trade ever flourish. Until we meet again in more peaceful times. And we get sent off again. Ooh. Yeah, that's a lot different. And keep it. That was a close one. These must be the vaults under Shachtown. The treasure chamber is sure to be vast and well guarded. It will be easy to find. Hmm. These ornaments look more like old one art than Shach. Could Archon be right in thinking that these are the old boundaries of Helmataros? Okay, and back into the deep we are. Uh, but what was it you were going to say? I'm a lot of experience. Uh, okay, I, I was wondering, wait, they give us an amulet to give us more XP, but no, it's not. I'm kind of surprised that this one actually makes sense in a way. I'm a lot of experience that give you the experience to know how to strike. A I lot like faster. It. Yeah, the name actually makes sense. Outside yeah. game uh, mechanic. Says oh, hello. Oh, oh, but, they talk oh, about hello. actual we experience and not just the XP points. Oh, what the? Uh, oh, yeah, these are the beasts we saw in Melvin's dream at the very start of the game. Oh. Okay, in that in that way, it does make sense. Uh, they're usually. Amulet of experience that would mean more, yeah, the loop experience points. But yeah, be, it being combat experience also works. There we go. Why is, um, the game is being oddly wise, picky. Yeah, yes, it is. Story wise, it makes a lot of sense to call it that. For store wise you wouldn't be getting the XP points. You well, we are getting Wait, experience. And yeah, we're going to need the speed boots to get through that. So, there we go. Hello. Nope. And I don't remember these abominations at all. So let's get this spy. Yeah, this yeah, this the spider spotter. There we go. Oops, it, that wasn't enough. Okay. I'm sort of. These look like. Oh, that's... They're spawning from that. Oh, well. <laughs> All the more reasons to get the hell out. Uh, where do we get the hell out? Up here. Thank you. And... Okay. There we go. And it's close. Okay, that's good. Otherwise, we'd be getting swarmed with robo-spiders. Bloody heck! Um, sorry we missed the bookshelf, but oh well. Uh, there's a big door in there, so we can return to it later, I presume. Hello. 
And wait, did that just? Okay, did, I think that crystal refilled our mana, but only one time it seems. And it has been quite a while since we've actually seen coins just lying around. And that was 1602. Wait, 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 wait. Sunflowers is the same company that made the an the, the first Anno game, so that <laughs> this might be a reference to their old game or to their other game. Yeah, that Easter egg. <laughs> I, I did not expect to find that, Olive E. Oh, okay, so it, it did refill our mana. It just took time to recharge. Hmm. Yeah. And I'm, notice I'm noticing that some of these are not lit. There we go. That's going to be the trick. Uh, anything um, in here? By the way. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, go ahead. I was like, if you were to get me a barrel to sit on, would be a, a barrel of sandwiches or something? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that would actually work. Okay, uh, I might look into that. you preserve sandwiches. <laughs> uh, it would be if they were salted fish <laughs> sandwiches. Ugh. Ugh. Ew! No! Bad! Bad! Bad Dutchman! Bad Helium! Uh, I don't even like the salted fish myself, but okay. High security quarters under the volcano. Would you like to know what they were, were for? The old ones have their high security living quarters under the air of volcano. These are available mainly to the highest ranking members of the military and to members of the high council as dwellings and conference rooms. <coughs> Pardon? <coughs> the outstanding features of this settlement are its remote situation and the strict, uh, strictly limited access. The rooms are also used for storing of valuable artifacts and books. Okay. And it looks like yes. these new ones are are more vulnerable than the first batch. I suspect these are part of the security system. Yep. Yep, yep. That as is that. But I don't think these are. So these take quite a few hits. Hmm. Yeah. Let's actually swap to that shield to see if that does any good against these. Okay. Well, it it is helping. And okay, it takes a few hits and then it breaks and. Okay, the spiders just take one hit in general. Oh, hello. The hell are you? Oh. And the enchanted and the armor. armor as well. Okay. Oh, that looks important. Red, red, green, red. Okay. So the left one of the green. Oh wait, is that going to be another? It's going to be another torch puzzle, isn't it? Let's see. Uh, okay. Are you trying to play tennis with the five balls with your axe? Does this in, uh, just, that one just opens? Okay. Uh, here we are. Okay. Uh, that one red. This one red. And then these two red. That should be it. Or not. Or, oh, wait. One that refused. One. Yeah, that one refused to. There we go. Okay. <laughs> just overlooked that for a bit. For a moment I thought, did I screw up the puzzle somehow, but no. 
Ooh, uh. Ah, crap. Uh oh. Hmm. Oop. And new area. I do have to. What the hell are you? Some sort of undead priest? And yeah, these are just enchanted armors. It's sword and flame? Can't really tell. That's not going to open that. I do have, I like, I have to say I like this presentation over the previous uh, old one architecture that we saw. And it, okay, they're, they're using, they're, they're wielding a sword and what looks to be an unlit torch or a small club. Might be whip? Nah, I don't think it's a whip. Either way, let's just keep looking around. But yeah, I I like this more. It, it looks like it looks less gaudy than the other old one architecture that we saw. Yeah, it's a little bit more easy on the eyes. Yeah, it, well then again, it, it is a mil it is a military design. So it would be more Spartan. Though even then they still need to use freaking gold everywhere. Let's see. Index of is disciplinary measures. Do you want to know more about old one uh, as disciplinary measures? One of the most severe punishments known to the community of the old ones is that of temporary enclosure in a stasis field. Only he who deliberately threatens or endangers the life of another old one is served with such a penalty. Depending on the severity of the offense, the period the guilty person must endure in the stasis field can be from a few hours to over 20 moon cycles. Only once um, was the life penalty given when the traitor Ramogad was convicted. Since convicted persons can neither move in the stasis field nor feel any physical sensations, they are forced to con concentrate their thoughts on their situation and its causes. The stasis field is said to have a very powerful effect, and never has it been known for a person thus punished to reoffend. So, basically, locking people in their own minds. Uh, unless they mean that. Uh, I'm guessing they can still see, probably. Uh, and think. Yeah. And Remoged was stuck in that for who knows how long. So it makes a bit sense that he'd be pissed. But then again, he did betray them. I have to turn them crazy. Like, the other ones did re offend. Probably they stayed just long enough to learn the lesson all, but... He may stay a bit too long. Yeah. In the Dragon's Realm. Let's see. The Lindsworm's Empire is always underground since it shuns daylight and the presence of other dragons. Only when searching for and consuming food does a Lindsworm leave its underground lair. Its favorite food is young animals of all kinds, but it isn't scared of attacking humans. Oh, hello, that's the first time I think human has been named. Or said, yeah. Wherever a lindworm is known to have made its home, walkers and travelers are warned to avoid the area, or at least not to enter it at night without a large torch, since dragons hate too much bright lights. Okay. Strategic planning instruments. Would you like to learn more about the old ones' uh, strategic planning tools? One of the most important strategic planning tools for the leaders of the old ones' army is the underground map room near the volcano. There, well hidden from the inquisitive eyes of outsiders, is a world map of Gothos, where all the up-to-minute, uh, up, up to the minute Old One's troops deployments and locations around Gothos are displayed. For the interested observer, the magical map can also show other aspects of life on Gothos. To see the map, the user must first obtain authorization from the map guard, Alteran, renowned for his strictness. Okay, so 
a magical GPS tracker. <laughs> okay. Let's see, the art of screening. What's this? To protect our magical machines against misuse by others, the old ones installed a variety of protective mechanisms in them or linked to them. The most famous example of such a mechanism is probably the Clock of Eternity of Taurus Vinta. It protects the shield generator to which it is directly connected. Its purpose is to strike the hours, minutes and seconds of eternity. The shield generator functions as long as this clock ticks. Okay, so that's something important to know. Someone made it stop ticking. Good chance and free D Dagomar. Or, like any villain, he f managed to free himself somehow. Oops. Come back here. Yeah, I suspect the stasis feed was not meant to be used for such a long time. Yeah, because life in stasis is eternity in stasis. Healing potion. <laughs> And something else. A, a torch. I don't think we need a torch. So let's just burn it up. Like it doesn't really give that much sight. It it would be a lot torches would be a lot more useful if there were areas that were just really dark in this game. Yeah, unless you can throw them. I don't think so. Or like Let's... what I did to Ark today. I ran up to a dude, a party dodo, with a torch, and hit it. <laughs> I've hit it three times, and I was just chasing off it, and suddenly it died from burn damage. Well, at least your meat was pre-cooked. Yeah, but that's not all. When I harvested it, I got cake. Ah, <laughs> uh, what? Holy cake! I got new meat, I just got cake! Okay, that sounds like either an event thing, or you might have broken thing. the game. <laughs> it's an event thing. But still, it feels so stupid. Yeah. I burned a dude with a pot hat and I get... cake. Okay, we have three switches which pop back up. So, obviously, we're going to need to press them down with these. Okay, now, now I think you realize why I find it feels so stupid and kind of unnerving. Like, it feels like I get reward with cake for burning a bird alive. That, that sounds horrible, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you committed a war crime. Have cake. Yeah, I kind of like that. I feel like... I just wanted it's me. Why did I get cake for that? I'm not evil, <laughs> honest. Yeah, yeah, that's what they all say. <laughs> Comes from you. Well, I've never mentioned. I've never said that I was innocent or anything. <laughs> Ugh. Oh. Uh, yo ho ho and another Geneva Convention um, break. I just really have something. We got about two one minutes remaining. Yeah, well that's going to be enough to get a crate to hold out oh, there it is, to hold that one down. And then we can end it at the door there, probably. But yeah, we are nearing the end of the game. I still think we probably get two or three streams out of it. Three even, all right. Yeah, I, I don't remember much of the last level, except for that it's big and open. So there'll probably be a lot of wandering around as well. Okay. Isn't these... Oh. They they looked green, or they look green because there wasn't light on them. Now they look white because there's the light of the torch on them. And uh, someone should put up a, a hazard sign. Wait, that's lava. 
Dude, that's a very narrow path. Wait, how? How has this happened? Like, I think it might be better not to ask too many questions on that. Yep, yep. Well, um, wait, are you really? Nope, not even the. Okay. Wait, what? There wasn't a respawn point nearby. But wait, but we 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 walked right past one just now, I, I think. But. Oh, wasn't there one right next to those things, just at the end of the... What? Okay, oh, that means so I'll just have to redo long. that. <sighs> you have to redo an entire... Le uh, it's, it's not the entire level, since we didn't get to a boss at the end yet, but I'm probably sure that we were very close to one. Well, okay, then I know what uh, I'll be doing on my free day tomorrow. But seriously, I I'm pretty sure we were standing next to one of the respawn points. I'll need to check the freaking footage, but I'm, I'm pretty sure we were ne right next to one. Uh, maybe oh, we were too fast for it or we didn't get close enough. Either way, though, uh, yeah, that's going to be where we end today's stream with me having to redo all of that. Uh, mm. At least you'll be able to do it faster for knowing what to do. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Thank you, anyone who has been watching now or later. Sorry for, well, not being able to stream as often, but yeah, that that's work. Sadly, so yeah, I'll have to see if I'll most likely be able to stream on Sunday. And I think we should probably do Tales of Monkey Island on that, since yeah, otherwise we'd just be doing well Minecraft stream, then Techno Mage, then back to Minecraft again. And yeah, I do want to keep going with Monkey Island. Yeah, we are approaching the end of it. Uh, true. I think. So yeah, we'll skip Minecraft once a day. I'll I'll have to, I'll try and look at um. I'll try to see if I can maybe stream on Mondays and Fridays as well, maybe even Wednesdays. Uh, I'll I'll just have to see at what points I can, yeah, just put in a stream or not. But I I don't want to. I want to avoid streaming too many days in a row. So, yeah, we'll just have to see how that goes. Yeah, so I can say it's kind of be okay to do it sometime, but not too oftenly. So, yeah. For now, though, uh, thank you anyone else for watching now or later, and thank you especially Vic here. You're most welcome, my friend. And yeah, tomorrow I'll be continuing with yeah, through all of that again on my own uh, to save all of you that trouble. Just really, there wasn't any tele any respawn point there. That that that's that's an oversight. I'm pretty sure there was. I think though, mm. probably good to start saving on occasion in there. Yeah. For now, though. Until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, folks, and watch out for seagulls.